Certain places follow us, like shadows. They're tethered by subtle threads, spooling us forever back, either in memory or actuality, even dreams, to landscapes that articulate something of ourselves. Home is important for all of us on some level, whether it's humans that are searching for somewhere to live or a country they might belong to, or wild animals staking claim to a territory. But home isn't just about putting down roots and becoming settled in one place. For me, home is very much about the relationship that we have with the wider world around us. While walking high in the hills of Greece one morning, a man and woman invited me to sit with them outside their hut of thatched reeds. They were transhuman shepherds who'd been traveling to the same mountainside for the whole of their lives, leading their animals back and forth between summer and winter grounds, between two different places. They laid the simple table with plates of food and drinks for an impromptu breakfast. And as I sat there that morning, in the warmth of their hospitality, beneath the shimmering mountain sun, I found myself asking what it is that makes a place home, and what it might mean to be at home. Looking around me, at the seasonal thatched hut, and the table of food prepared by two strangers who had welcomed me like a friend, I began to see that the whole mountainside was their heart. Rilke's words as a call to be aware of the possibilities in all that surrounds us. They are an appeal to apprehend the world in its entirety. His words are an invitation to openness, encouraging us to let in the wild and unpredictable, the ordinary and overlooked, the fleeting and unexplained. He counsels us to be held in awe by the seemingly insignificant. There is possibility, he says in the smallest of things. By looking closely, with curiosity and openness, and by engaging all of our senses, I think we're capable of forging potentially deep relationships with wherever we are, allowing the presence of a place to make itself felt upon our bodies and minds. Whether it's the slant of light before a storm, the flash of a bird's wings, or the song of a shepherd heard in the hills, anywhere has its stories if we look and listen for them. This is what interests me. How do we go about being at home in the world? A beckoning world, graced by murmurs at every turn.